ATSDR's National Land Reuse Health Program. Discover land reuse resources to improve your community's health. Want to improve the health of your community? Land reuse and redevelopment could be the key. Land reuse sites include brownfields or old or vacant commercial, industrial, or residential properties. Chemicals used at the site, like lead-based paint or solvents, may have contaminated the water, soil, or air. A few examples include abandoned factories or houses, vacant lots, old gas stations, polluted waterfronts. Because harmful chemicals may be in the water, soil, or air, people who live near these sites may have a higher risk of developing health issues, including respiratory problems or chronic diseases. Communities near land reuse sites may also have lower quality housing, and people who live in these communities may have limited access to healthy food, health care, or safe places for physical activity. Land reuse and redevelopment projects can make a big impact on overall community health and well-being. These sites can be redeveloped into healthy and safe spaces that the community can enjoy, like new buildings, parks, trails, and community gardens. People from many backgrounds can play a role in redevelopment projects, including public and environmental health professionals, community planners and developers, people who work for community organizations, and community members. The Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry's National Land Reuse Health Program has resources to help people redevelop land reuse sites in their communities. ATSDR's Land Reuse Program provides free tools and training to help professionals and community members learn about land reuse and redevelopment. ATSDR's Environmental Health and Land Reuse EHLR Certificate Training is a free course created in collaboration with the National Environmental Health Association. It helps people understand the redevelopment process and build skills to incorporate community health throughout the process. The EHLR certificate training is available in a variety of formats and includes a series of five modules. 1. Engaging with your community. 2. Evaluating environmental and health risks. 3. Communicating environmental and health risks. 4. Redesigning with health in mind. 5. Measuring success. The EHLR training increases capacity of communities and professionals to collaborate on health-focused land reuse. ATSDR's Brownfields Land Reuse Action Model encourages community-led redevelopment to benefit community health. Check out the Action Model Toolkit to learn how to use the model in your community. Your community will learn how to build a team, fund redevelopment projects, and work toward long-lasting change to improve your community. Your community can also explore free land reuse toolkits tailored to meet the needs of community champions and planners, developers, health professionals, and more. Finally, the Land Reuse Program has a group of expert volunteers called the Brownfields and Reuse Opportunity Working Group, or BROWN. BROWN's land reuse experts can help communities solve land reuse problems. For example, BROWN can help communities find and understand information about local land reuse sites and related health risks, develop tailored strategies to improve community health, build sustainable partnerships to support long-term community health improvement through land reuse, find out about funding opportunities, and measure positive changes in community health and well-being. To learn more about the Land Reuse Program and find helpful resources, go to atsdr.cdc.gov slash sites slash brownfields. Together, we can build healthier communities where everyone has the chance to thrive.